All right, during this video, it's going to be an emotional test. So I want you to go get a pen and paper and throughout this video, anything you see or that I say that triggers your emotion, I want you to write down that emotion. And so I'm gonna talk about something called dialectical behavioral therapy. And it's a psychotherapy that helps like cognitive behavioral therapy and mindfulness. And dialectal, that word, when you look at the etymology and go back, it, it talks about taking to things that are different views, they're, they're, they're the opposite, they come together humbly and they start to discuss. And then they both start to agree, and because they came together, they grow. You're gonna see a lot of stuff in it that's gonna poke at your Is it possible that you could support Black Lives Matter and support Trump? Think about what that means. And now I'm not talking about the organization Black Lives Matter. We all know if we read their website, what they're doing, they are not solving the problem. Get the biggest issues that are occurring, and then you look at their website and see what they're doing and then see the way that their website is designed to manipulate people to enrage, cause rage, you would see that black lives do matter, they're important. But the Black Lives Matter organization itself, it's sad, it's, it, it's going after the wrong thing. It's, you see what's going on today, you look, you look at all the riots all the time, you look at Facebook, and this is primarily why I'm coming after with this video today. I, I see daily on Facebook, people uh, fighting and arguing, people, posting uh, fake news and things like that. I want to talk about emotions and I want to talk about regulating your emotions. Now I posted this photo on Facebook and just left it there to see what the reaction would be. And people responded, I could see how maybe there's good in both and some were like upset. I could tell it was triggering some emotions. Everyone's emotions are different. So the human brain, it's a physical representation of history, of mistakes, you know, trial, error, from evolution to learning. All perceptions are reflexive responses, and these are assumptions. They determine what we do, and they also predict what we think and what we don't Everything think. Everything we see is our is an assumption. It's our, our perception of reality. There's all kinds of stimuli around us that will trigger an automatic response, and we can take control of that. And it can facilitate the maintenance of false beliefs. Those false beliefs that you keep, everyone keeps sharing all over the internet. Now, when it comes to emotions, let me tell you what happens in the brain. You see something, you sense something, and that triggers the emotion. What happens right here in the cauda nucleus, in this area, the amygdala senses and sees something that is wrong. So like when you see something on social media that you disagree with, and that triggers the fight for flight response because it's something you're against. You need to fight it, you don't like it. And that, once that triggers the fight for flight response, it then triggers the sympathetic nervous system. And it's releasing all those catecholamines. You've got neurotransmitters and hormones going to different parts of your body. And what happens over time when that continues to release, it didn't have to release. And it keeps releasing and, it, and it's gonna damage your body. It causes a lot of stress over time when you could be anything. Now, in order to change your emotions, this is, this is gonna be some revolutionary behavior. You are going to have to contradict your beliefs because you're going to see something and you're going to, you're, you are going to want to engage and behave against it. The, the, the bad part is that, that every time you click and you send, you're feeling so good. It's, it's that addiction of clicking and sending is like a dopamine release. It's going to be hard for a lot of you because a lot of you are so addicted to politics. A lot of you are so addicted to, to Trump or to your, your liberalism that you cannot bring yourself to conduct dialectal behavioral therapy. You can't even, you know, two coming together, you can't even bring yourself to do that because you're it, in addiction, the amygdala is tricking the prefrontal cortex. You are so addicted to your political side that it's so hard for you not to, it's so hard for you to like the other side, but you realize if you just come together and if you think about it, I made this emotion chart that you would kind of go through with your emotions. I took, you know, army design methodology where you are analyzing the environment, making sense of the environment, and it kind of took, here it is. So what what you do, there's, there's a, the first step I have in here is gonna name the emotion. You know, what, what is the emotion? Is it happiness, sadness? When you think about it, what is the trigger? You know, what triggers the emotion or the traumatic event that's causing that? Identify the social psychological factor. You know, is Trump making you mad? Biden, COVID, masks, your brother, your sister, the border wall, guns, BLM. 
You know, what, what is it that's triggering that? And then who am I? And what perceptions, beliefs, and values? And what are my biases that create this? What's making, why is it? Why is this emotion? Should I even let it be an emotion? Is, is it worth me getting emotional knowing that it's actually damaging my body? Then you're going to classify it. Um, it's associated with a tra traumatic event. Ask yourself, you know, why do you have this emotion? Is it justifiable that it is an emotion? And identify what behavior or what is it that has influenced this? Is there something I, if I, is there something that I should not have done or, or is there something the next time I can avoid it? Um, and think about what is currently happening in your, inside your body when you choose to react this way. When you focus and realize the sympathetic nervous system, think about, I don't want to react because it's going to cause emotion. It may be hard to really, you know, look on social media. Um, when you see something on social media and before you sh share it, think about it. You know, does this pass the common sense test? Um, is it social engineering, agenda setting, framing? Is it marketing psychology? Is there is it a cognitive attack from another country? Is someone trying to manipulate me? Um, and then you need to acknowledge that my thoughts and emotions are influenced by my brain. Also on social media, confirm the source. Look up some sources. Don't just send it. Remember, you, you are doing the war cry. Let's go destroy our country when you share false stuff. Then when you're done, you're gonna, you're gonna gather the findings. What did you find? And how can I make this a healthy outcome? And after I've changed, you know, what's the new behavior? What's the new emotion I'm feeling? What's the overall feeling? Um, and then think about it, identify controls for the future. Identify something you put in place uh, to stop the emotion. And and whether one thing that's interesting too, like we the paint like uh, so emotions, they are just, emotions is a, con a conceptual idea that our, our brain has created. And, uh, and we can stop it. I hope you felt a lot of different emotions, whether it was happiness, hate, whatever, whatever triggered you. And I want you to uh, utilize that chart and kind of step through them and go through that and really think, why did I have those emotions? What is it that's causing me to have those emotions? What is it? about my environment where I grew up or forcing me to have those emotions. And also think, what is it around myself, around my life that, you know, is going to cause an emotion? You know, you come home and there's something's always a mess and you know it's always going to be there. You can anticipate and prepare yourself to not get all your emotions to trigger because remember, every time your emotion triggers, you are having a stress response that is unnecessary. Those that made it all the way through this video, I'm glad you did and I hope you apply this. It will be better. We can make a change in society.